It's the break of dawn. It's the day that most students have anticipated for the entire year. They've been preparing and students have been traveling from near and far. to reach the various test sites. There's various modes of transportation, which are car, subway, and bus. It's highly advisable that you take mass transit due to lack of parking in the area, which is very congested, and the high cost of private parking. There are literally thousands of students that are lined up in an orderly fashion prior to testing. Most students are accompanied by their parents who accompany them until they reach the door as parents are not allowed into the school building. After several hours, the parents can return and pick up their child outside the school. In the interval, parents can shop or relax at the Atlantic Mall on Atlantic Avenue, which is a short walking distance away. It's advisable, as you can see in the film, because testing is in October, that students dress in layers. It's warm in the building, outside it's a little chilly wear a light jacket, a sweater that you can actually uh, peel off. So when you're inside the building, you'll be as comfortable as possible. Of course, you should be aware of the various test dates that are visible on the headings in the film. There are all sorts of alternative test dates depending on the school. Students at this time should be well aware of the testing strategies to really succeed on this test. It's important to get a good night's sleep, get a solid breakfast, and prior to testing, uh, to use the restrooms because every minute counts. If you look at the heading, the best way to improve your verbal skills is to read many books and articles, knowing what to expect on the test and having some practice in, te in test makes it beneficial. It is helpful to stimulate the actual testing situation. After you complete the practice test, check your answer against the list of correct answers. Put your test book away for a few days and take the second sample test following the same procedure. Ask your high school guidance counselor to get a free specialized school handbook. and a calendar of the important dates. As you, you can clearly see, the line is lengthy. You can be standing on the line depending where you're situated for quite some time. Despite the, it, though it looks chaotic on the line, the process is actually very orderly. Remember the high stakes of this test. This test will actually determine your 
future as you'll spend four years of your life building the foundation in high school, which will set you up in higher education and for the road with success, which brings financial rewards. On the headings, you can clearly see that each section, the ELA and the math, are 75 minutes, total of 150 minutes or two and a half hours, which is a lengthy test. By the date of this test, students have practiced multiple times the format of the test. Remember, the test materials you need to bring in are the admission ticket signed by your parents, sharpened pencils, not only two, but several, uh, several, an eraser, and a watch that does not have a calculator just to keep track of your time, even though the time will be displayed on the whiteboard or blackboard in front of the classroom during the test. You'll be provided with a test booklet, an answer sheet, scrap paper, Also, if you notice on the heading, competition is fierce. There is only a limited amount of seats available in these specialized schools, and the application process amounts to thousands of applicants. Depending on the specialized high school, competition is fiercest depending on the school. Of course, Stuyvesant, the premier high school in New York City, is the most competent and most competitive to get into. Brooklyn Tech follows. Students are advised to list multiple schools. So if your first choice is not met, you have alternative schools as admission. There are literally specialized schools in, in all boroughs. Stuyvesant is now listed. Out of over 25,000 students, less than 1,000 were admitted, showing the competitiveness to try to get into the school. So it's one seat for every 25 applicants. <laughs> 